The J-26 David is the aviation reward for the spring 2023 Battle Pass season. Is it worth the grind? Let's find out. Okay, so this plane is one of those things where a couple of them landed in Sweden during World War II, so the snail is giving it to them as a premium vehicle. This particular plane, the J-26 David, was actually a P-51B that made an emergency landing in Swedish territory in 1944. During the course of the war, there were either four or five, depending on sources, P-51s that made emergency landings, or crashed, in Swedish territory before Sweden placed a regular order to buy some Mustangs in early 1945. Out of these interred fighters, only a couple were serviceable and returned to flying condition, including one of the B models, which is what we have here. I'll go into more detail about the history of the P-51 generally when I eventually do a review of a regular American tech tree version. In the game, we get the J-26 David, a premium fighter in rank 3 of the Swedish air tree at a battle rating of 3.7. This plane carries four 12.7mm machine guns with a total of a little over 1200 rounds of ammo. It gets the usual selection of ammo belts, but here's the thing. The total burst mass on the guns is only 2.26 kilograms, which is kind of low, and your selection of ammo belt will be really important. Some people swear by the universal belt on these guns for air combat, but some people prefer the tracers. I've included gameplay footage using both in this review, but for me personally, I had better luck with the tracers in arcade battles and with the universal belt in realistic battles. Either way, these guns don't hit very hard. The guns are set halfway out on the wings, so you're probably going to want to think about gun convergence angles before you end up flying out. For loadouts, the plane can carry a pair of bombs out on the wings. Nothing fancy, but a pair of 500 pound bombs can still be useful for ground attack, so nothing to dismiss either. The flight performance of the J-26 David provides some really good engine power for this BR. This plane is really fast, relatively speaking, and it's got a pretty good rate of climb. Even as a runway fighter in RB, I have no problem climbing up to bomber altitude. The acceleration is pretty average for a mid-tier prop fighter like this, with the real strength being, again, its top-end speed of about 700 kilometers an hour up at altitude. Even lower to the ground, this plane can catch or outrun almost everything it faces. Just be aware that sometimes in RB, it'll be a little bit of a long chase since the acceleration isn't really noteworthy. The turning performance is also pretty average. This is an early model Mustang, and it can outturn about half of its opposition at this BR, and will be outturned by the other half. One noteworthy caveat is that the ailerons are pretty ineffective in realistic battles, and the rate of roll is just awful below about 500 kilometers an hour, which can make the plane seem a lot less maneuverable than it actually is if you get sucked into like horizontal scissors or something. Try to favor vertical maneuvers when possible, where your ailerons won't be as much of a factor. Now you can use WEP for a little extra power, but just keep an eye on the temperatures. I haven't run into any problems with this plane, but if you leave the WEP on long enough, it is possible to overheat the engine if you just don't pay attention to the temperatures at all, so remember, don't boil that oil. Flying the J-26 David out into matches was, if I'm being honest, more of a challenge than I expected. The abysmally low firepower of the four machine guns is simply inadequate. You need an enormous amount of time on target to bring anything down, even fighters, unless you get, like, a good engine crit or a pilot snipe. It's got the flight performance to go up and intercept bombers, but not enough firepower to reliably bring them down before the defensive turrets pick you apart with superficial damage. So pick your engagements carefully. Most of the footage I'm showing in this review is arcade battles, like for most other low-tier planes I review, 
mostly because it's faster paced at lower BR like this, but I included a clip from RB dogfighting against a P-51C that I think very clearly illustrated all of the plane's shortcomings. The crappy ailerons and needing a significant amount of time on target to bring down even a single-engined fighter. The David's performance makes it a natural boom and zoomer in RB as opposed to a turning dogfighter. Just be aware that you may end up with more assists than kills. In arcade battles, the usual flight model buffs kick in, and the ailerons are a lot more effective. You still need a lot of time on target, especially against bombers, but it can turn fight a lot more reliably. In terms of ground attack, the wimpy guns are a limitation, and even going after like AI artillery units and stuff in air battles can be a bit of a chore. But the bombs are useful, and I had some good success taking this out as close air support. But just keep in mind that both of the bombs drop as a pair, so you're usually only going to get one kill per flyout. And if you want to focus on ground attack, you're going to be going back and forth to the airfield a lot. Not a problem, just remember that. Still, given the plane's low BR and its really good engine performance, you absolutely can use this thing as a bomb taxi in ground battles. Visually, the David looks just like other early model Mustangs. I've always thought the P-51 was generally a decent looking prop fighter, and the visual detail on this one's pretty good. The skins are well done, and overall, I'd give this a B plus for the visuals. Landing is a bit easier than a lot of other mid-tier props. Just remember to watch the tailwheel when you lock up the brakes, and ease up if you see it start to rise off the ground in order to avoid a nose-over flip. Swerving S-turns on the runway to dump off that last bit of speed worked pretty well, and I didn't have any tipping problems. The cockpit kind of sucks. The gun sight is okay, but the visibility is pretty bad, with bracing in all the wrong spots and an inadequate view backwards over the shoulder. The instruments are large, but they're painted on rather than modeled, and overall, I didn't really care for this cockpit in VR. To close out on the J-26 David Battle Pass vehicle. This plane is crazy fast for its BR, with really good climb performance. It gets a pair of 500-pound bombs, and it gets premium bonuses. However, its guns are simply inadequate, its ailerons are weak, and it loses a lot of maneuverability below about 350 kilometers an hour. The final verdict on the J-26 David is that the wimpy pop guns really hold it back at this BR, but its excellent engine performance makes it a reliable boom and zoomer. Sweden has better premiums in rank 3, but if your playstyle focuses on speed over firepower, this might be a good fit. As always, thanks for watching.